unstoppable special needs estate plan. How can you be sure that there's enough to support your child after your come on? This is something that keeps people up at night very understandably. It's absolutely crucial to leave money for the benefit of your child to their special needs trust. Most of us don't have enough money to do this, but this is a question of what are the projections? If you make certain assumptions about the cost of living, about housing and healthcare and so on and so forth, what could be spent to support your child for the rest of his or her life after you pass? Mm -hmm. And it could be three and a half million dollars. Okay, not practical for so many. So you do what you can. Is everything going to be left to the child with a disability? The resources are not increasing for housing in particular for individuals with disabilities. That's our major concern. The demand for supportive services is off the charts. We're not fans of life insurance in every context, but here it can make a great deal of sense. And I want to tell you the shortest story, a very real story about a family I worked with a number of years ago. Uh, they had two kids. They're in their 40s. One child profoundly, profoundly disabled, and they were utterly worried, consumed with worry about how that child was going to get by. They didn't really have much money. Importantly, they brought mom's mother and father came along to that meeting just to be there and be supportive. So we talked about life insurance. We referred them to the life insurance professional with whom they worked. They qualified for life insurance. And here's what they did. They looked at what's called the second to die life insurance policy. It doesn't pay off until the second death for $1 million to fund the special needs trust. They looked at a number of alternatives in terms of how they could fund it. They could pay annually. The premiums would be about $4,300 a year going forward, or they could pay about $60,000 once. Mom and dad heard that over time, they chipped in, they bought that policy. And what was so amazing about that is after the policy was purchased, mom called me up, she was weeping. And she said, you know, that life insurance policy, she, this sounds silly, but because of that, for the first time we felt number one, that we can now leave a portion of the estate for our other child, we were going to leave them nothing. Number two, for the first time, just this feeling of liberation, we felt we could take a night off. This child was two years old. They didn't take a break. They went They went crazy. They went to Carmel overnight where the mother, the grandparents took care of the child. And again, stimulated yeah. by a life insurance policy. I, you know, it, it's yeah. symbolic as well as very real in terms of money. We find this from other, other advisors in this field. I think life insurance is a nice way to, to bridge some of that gap. And if you have an old life insurance policy, you might be able to trade it in for a much better new one. Talk to us. We can connect you with people who can help. So, you know, to decide how much life insurance you might need to, to, to figure out your plan, we kind of developed a framework for thinking about that. The more, the better, right? Like if you have $100 million, hey, leave whatever you think is absolutely enough for your child and then some. No downside to having too much because again, a third party trustee will oversee it for your child. But I like to think about this as retirement, right? Because when you retire, in theory, you're not going to be earning any new income. Good rule of thumb is the 4% rule. You should be able to rely on a 4% return every year. And in theory, the principal, the amount you have invested in the bank should generally stay at where it started. So it should be something you can do forever. So in simple terms, let's say you have a million dollars put away for your retirement, it's invested reasonably well. In theory, you should take, be able to take out 4%, $40,000 a year for the rest of your life. And that million dollars might go up some years, might go down, but it should stay at about a million dollars. Historically speaking, that's been reliable. Similar for special needs planning. So as a parent, think about how much your, you, your child will need every month, right? If you're gone, let's say, hopefully they get SSI, maybe they get Medi-Cal, that'll pay some of the costs. What is that gap? Are they going to need caregivers? Are they going to need to go on trips? Come up with a rough budget in your mind, factor in some inflation as we've had in the last few years. And maybe you say, you know what, if my kid has $10,000 a month, that's a big number. But if they have $10,000 a month, that'll, that'll be plenty. We need to think about other resources as well and how they need to be coordinated. So one thing that's, that's absolutely crucial, if you have a retirement account, you would leave your retirement accounts to the special needs trust as well. And there's a new law called the SECURE Act that passed just a few years ago. And if you leave your retirement account to a child without a disability, they have to withdraw that money within 10 years. And they have to pay taxes every time they withdraw it. If it's to a special needs trust or an individual with a disability, it can be spread out over their lifetime. So very, very important to update the beneficiary designation of your retirement accounts and to make sure that's all coordinated. This is kind of one of the secrets to a, an unstoppable special needs plan is having the right team. So that involves having a, an integrated legal and financial team, maybe insurance advisor as well. The countless occasions where the right hand, legal planning, 
doesn't get communication from the left hand doing the financial planning. And we see very inappropriate investments being made, sometimes annuities that make no sense for somebody who's in their 80s. So we're now developing this team and making sure that that the financial advisor professionals understand these issues, understand how it all fits together, integrating it, making sure that it's coordinated. We're working really hard to make sure that we're going to be able to deliver that to you going forward. Putting the right plan into place to prevent property tax increases can be worth millions. So when we coordinate directly, and we, of course, if you have a financial advisor that you think is great and you love working with, let's make sure that we work with them as well. If you work with our firm or anybody you work with for special needs planning, if they're not asking to coordinate with your financial advisory team, or if they don't bring that to the table, that's and it can be a problem. We get this question so much that we've decided to, to we're piloting a new program around this um, where we are forming a partnership with a couple of financial advisors who do specialize and really work with families in this area. And you might've heard of this idea, like multi-billionaire families have family offices where they literally have their own one office. And all this office does is focuses on their family. They have an estate planner, they have an accountant, they have a financial advisor, and they, and they literally only work for one family. You can't do that if you're a middle-class or upper middle-class family, of course, but we think you should have some version of that. So we're, we're starting to build that called the GoFix Family Office Program. We haven't finalized it yet. Um, but we are piloting a new program. So if you're interested in having that, there's no really extra cost to families who take part to having that integrated legal and financial team talk to us. Uh, and, and the advisors we're bringing in also have experience uh, with life insurance. Overcome the three Ds, the danger of delay and denial. It's a version of Mike came with before. Don't be the ostrich with your head in the sand. Special needs planning in particular, you can't wait. You have to take a fresh look, make sure it's up to date. Your family is going to be spending a lot more money later, or your child's going to lose benefits, or they're going to face unnecessary taxes. So spending a little bit now on having that legal and financial team and having good advice can pay off many times over, special, especially in the special needs planning space. Like this, comment, leave us questions. If, if we can get to it, try leaving the YouTube channel. We'll try to get to some of those. We would love to be part of your team. Uh, we think it should be integrated with your, your financial and insurance plan reach out, contact us, 650-493-8070, gilfix.com. Very easy to find us. We're all over the internet. Yeah, thank you so much. So we hope you got a lot out of this.